Hi y'all, how's everybody doing? Sorry for the noise, I'm trying to get this stuff out of a bag. So welcome to Thrifty Thursday, which is put on by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. So go over to her, the link will be down below. And um, check out everybody else that has a lot of yummy stuff that they found for a deal. Whether it's thrifting or it's just Walmart, if you got it for a deal, you're good. You're good to come on and show a video. Look at this I got for a dollar nineteen. Is this not cool? And I don't think I've shown you this before, but is that not cool? Very nice. It's from 1980. The pages are perfect. Love it. And then I found these. I did a little bit of thrifting yesterday, but wait until you see what I did today. I went to an estate sale today and I got two bags full of stuff and I'm dying to go through it and see, look at it. So I got a box of these, which I think I already have a box, but you can never have too many, can you? Especially since I plan on doing paper packs. I don't know what this is sticking out of here, but it's bugging me. I plan on doing paper packs because I have so much paper to share. And I can coffee dye these and put these in the paper pack, can't I? And I got plastic doily, so I plan on doing some cool paper dyeing with coffee and with um, avocado and um, just dye from from eggs, Easter eggs, the dye. So I picked this up. It says that it is. brown paper. Let's open this up. I don't get enough of this from Amazon because Amazon has been sending my stuff in bags and then when they send it in boxes they're sending it in the original box. This will be perfect. Loving this. And it's a nice weight. But uh, I don't need that bag. Stick this right down here. So it's ready to go. Alright, let's put these back in the bag. So now it's time to look at what I got from the estate sale. So I got two, two bags. Here's one of them. This one is full of doilies. Look at all these doilies. And I want to look at these too. And then this huge tablecloth. Look at this tablecloth. All of these little doilies can be cut off of here and will be cut off of here. Look at how big this is. It's like all in your face, isn't it? It's so huge. Yep, I have doilies forever. So that's going back in the bag. Oh, it needs to be washed. So let's look, look at all of these. So I paid $5 for the two. No, it was $11 for the two bags. She charged me $2 for all of these. There's some cut work on there. Only $2 for all of these. And then $2 for that tablecloth. Look at all that lace. It's folded weird. Here's another one just like it. Oh, 
Why not? Why not? Why not? Here's one just like it, and it says all Irish linen, all cotton decoration made in Portugal. Here's one. This one's really pretty. Look at that. This whole thing. Wow, look at that lace. Gorgeous. This one's pretty. And I love the linen. So you can cut the lace off of here and use the lace. And then the linen you can use for stamping on. I mean, your imagination is the only thing stopping you. This has stain, so this needs to be coffee dyed. But the stain may come out in the wash. I, th I throw all of these in the washing machine. And that is so pretty with the purple flowers. This seems so delicate. That is embroidery on. You have to wonder, like, did a machine do this or did this get done by hand? looks like by hand but I don't know gorgeous very pretty got a stain there that's pretty The corners have the little dots. That's so pretty. That one's pretty. That's pretty. A couple butterflies. Looks hand embroidered. And it's got cut work in it. This one has a D, which is my last name initial, and it's in blue. So this one will be hung. There's going to be some doilies that I'm not going to part with, and they're going to be hung from my curtains. I have blinds in my new craft room and I put up shears on the windows and I have them hanging from hooks. And from those hooks, I will be hanging some of my antique doilies and this blue D will get hung up there. So I think it's gonna look really cute having the antique doilies. Look at that. Um, hung up there. Oh, here. Oh. This one just has a flower on it. This one's pretty. Very pretty. So is this one. I really like this. Pink rose. Here's a purple one with just purple lace. Oh, and it has her name in it. Dorothy Da Costa. And then this one is black and gray. That one's very stiff. 
Very pretty. I don't know why I'm folding these because I have to unfold them, throw them in the wash. This one's pretty and it feels so soft. And look how pretty. This is just a printed one, but it's pretty. There's another one. Let's open up one of these lace ones. Lots of lace. This would be good as a page. I think it's about that size. We got another one and another one and another one and another one. Lots, lots of lace ones. Here's one that has an initial M. If you turn it upside down, it's a W, which is my maiden name, is a W. But I think it's an M, has to go this way. Very pretty work. So that would be in a journal that I make for somebody whose name starts with an M. Oh, wow, look at this. Wow, this might get hung up on my curtains. That is stunning. That's pretty. So much work has gone into those, I'm telling you. All right, now we have this other bag. Look at this bag. And there is a lot of stuff in here. This is buttons that fell out of here. But I got it because I saw some shell buttons in there. So let's just take a look. Look at that shell button. That would be gorgeous on a cover. I don't know if you can see it, but the colors that are shining off of the light. There's another one. Beautiful. Can you see that side? Oh, it's gorgeous. These ones are... Yeah, the stuff in this house was old, so I know these buttons, especially these shell buttons. There's another one. Or vintage. Oh, that's pretty. Silver flower. There's another shell. Well, I'm glad I got some shell buttons because there's another big one. That is so cool. Because I don't think I have any shell buttons. Stick that right there for now. Let's see. There's so much stuff in here. Whoops. Are you straight? I know, like you can talk to me. So this is a writing set. Look at this. That's cool. Oh, look at these envelopes. The coin envelopes. Does that go in there? Yep. I like the coin envelopes. And these are cute. <laughs> little cards with little envelopes. 
And these are little coin envelopes too. This little pack has not been open. Here's a bunch of, oh, it looks like just two's been used. They're butterfly and a flower, little seals. And these are sticky notes. Well, that's neat. That's a cute little set, isn't it? I like that, that's nice. Oh, and then there were so many cigar boxes in there. I love the wooden ones that have the latch. And the, these are in, this one is in such good condition. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love cigar boxes. All right, what's in here? Oh, a bunch of, look at these pens. I don't know if they're stainless steel, but I can always test them out and find out. But let me see. Yeah, it's full of them. This whole box is full of these. I have to ask my husband if there's a way to find out if it's stainless steel without sticking it in the glue bottle. Yeah, it doesn't fit there. But the pins will also be nice. Can't see. Um, on the front of a journal. There's so many uses for them. I got some socks. I don't know if Holly will wear these. Look at how old these are. These 80s socks. Were they scrunched? Yeah. I got two pair. Slouch socks. I don't know. I figured since they were brand new. And oh, and all the books were free. I got this. I don't know what it is. It's missing a page. American War Ballads and L Lyrics. So it's a song book. Queen's Library, 1859, is that what that says? 1889, wow. Maybe I should go back and look at the books. Well, it's not a music book. Somebody wrote all in their book though, didn't they? This is a neat book. The Colonial Wars, the Revolutionary Wars, Paul Revere's Ride. The Civil War, the War of 1812, the Mexican War. So it's all about these wars. So that's not going to be a good thing to use these pages in. Boy, somebody wrote in this book. Look at all this writing. Might be an interesting read because it's so old. True history compared to what's going on now. I don't know what I'll do with this book. It's a neat old book. The pages are like a glossy feel. So they're not, you know, it's not rag paper or anything like that. All right, what else do we have? We have, these were free too. So these are bird stickers. So these might come in handy. And then this one's roses. These will definitely come in handy, old fashioned roses. I 
And this one is Victorian floral. So these will come in handy. Very nice. I can't see in this. All right, so I got this. I don't know what it is. National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund. I got it because of the rose. I just want the rose. And then there was this. Big old glass one bag from the post office. I figured I can cut this down, decorate it, I don't know. Might use it. Trying to get that crease out of it. I can't see in the bag, so I'm just grabbing stuff. Oh yeah, she collected stamps. So here is an old envelope, old air, more, air mail envelope, full of stamps. And there, there were, she had a lot of stamps, but I just, I think I just grabbed this one. So that's Jamaica on there. Cayman Islands. Cayman Islands. I don't know. Cayman Islands. Looks like they're mostly Cayman Islands. There's one with sailboats. Yeah. There's one with people. Old scooter. There's the United States, 1974. 1969 That's when I was born. There's a Christmas, a Santa Claus one. I hope my head's not in the way. I'm trying to see these though. Cayman Island. I wish the envelopes were still attached. So it's Cayman Islands and the United States. This airmail envelope will be nice to use. What else do we have? Oh, and then these stamps. These are from 2017 and they're international forever stamps. So they got to still be good, right? because they're forever stamps, even though they're from 2017? I would think so. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I mean, they gotta be good. So here is some cute little envelopes. There's just a card there. That is cute. Or it's mostly envelopes. And they're cute little envelopes, so they will definitely get used. And this little box is adorable. This pink envelope. I don't know how these were in here. They did not want to get back in there. this box. Alright, I think I have a box down here with stuff in it. Alright, we 
got a couple more buttons here. I have an av avalanche going on over here. Stuff is falling. All right. I got these are glass head pens and then four regular pens. But aren't the, I wonder if those are stainless steel. Those are cool. Those would be neat to make some dangles from because they're glass. I'm wanting to go back to this estate sale. They had a lot more different pens. I just don't know if they're stainless steel and I'm assuming they would say that they're stainless steel. So these are copper, which I did not know. I grabbed them because I needed some. I need some big ones. And I just opened this for the first time and these are all copper, which is cool. It's called Liquor Finish Steel. See that? I've never seen that before. But this is gem paper clips. Very cool. I got this because it's dirty. Because it's a cardinal. And... I see cardinals, and for some reason, I think that when I see cardinals, it's my dad coming to say hi. Um, we believe what we believe, right? Today is my dad's birthday, or would have been my dad's birthday. He's been gone for 11 years now, and it is pretty much just as painful now as it was then. But I seen this, and... It looks like it hangs on the wall. So this will probably go in my office, in my craft room. Let's see what's in here. Stamp collecting. United States, $2. Congratulations, you just purchased a unique stamp that co commemorates the 1918 24 cent inverted Jenny stamp. Huh, I might have something here. That one's the same. I may have to look these up. Hmm, very interesting. We'll have to check those out and look at the lace. I wish there was more lace in this house because the ladies that are putting on this estate sale pretty much just give this stuff away. They always have good prices. Look at how pretty that one is. Use some of those pins to hold these down, huh? And then there's this one. I really like this one. This one is so dainty, it's so pretty. Very nice. And then we got this. This is velvet. Trying to see if there's a date on that. But it was $3.50 whenever she bought it. And that's an old sticker. I don't even know that store. I've never heard of it before. And then we got this Christmas one, too. Ooh, 
Where'd those pins go? I don't know. Oh, right in front of me. Ow. There. And then we got these. Let's take a look at these cards. Thinking of you. So cute. Get well. Thanks. I'm a big hoarder of cards. Dream big, sparkle more, shine bright. Make a splash at your birthday. Thinking of you. Thanks. Get well soon. These are adorable. Oh, and a pad of paper. A couple pads of paper. Oh, a very special baby book. What is this? My daughter's fixing to have a baby. Oh, my goodness. It's a monkey. And then here are the envelopes for these. Very nice. I have this huge mess on my desk. And then I got this pearl cotton. Because I don't think I have any. And it's a pretty color. It's a 10. So I'm thinking I can use that in my embroidery. I got these cards. These are these are not um, index cards. These are older cards, I believe, because well, one the coloring and the paper, but um, or the bag, I mean, but they're thicker, a lot thicker, and these will make good tags. And that's exactly what they're going to be turned into. So here's some lace here. Incision lace. Very pretty. wants to unravel on me. And then we, do, we have some buttons down at the bottom. There's a blank, to all blank card. We don't need that. Some envelopes, so I'll have to go through this box. Well, that's weird. Isn't that weird? I guess she wanted the flower. Oh, that's cool. Dried flowers. So we mostly have envelopes. Oh, there's some cards. Cards with envelopes. do something with those. There's a lot of those cards with envelopes. This is pretty frame. That will come in handy, won't it? In our journal making. There's some more dried flowers. She put it on one of those cards. Let's see what this is. What does this say? The first line's in a different language. The second line says Colombian natural dry leaves and flowers. Oh, that's cool. Printed in Colombia. 
So that's pretty neat. They're not covered like the other ones were. Let's get these buttons where they belong. Oh, look at the purple one. Oh, that's a flat back pearl. <laughs> that's no button. I like those big buttons though, don't you? All right. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and checking out this awesome deal. I am pretty tempted to go back there and see what else I can find. But, oh, I have a mess. I have a mess to clean and figure out where to put them all in a box somewhere. So, hey, thank you. Be sure to check out all the other crafters that are finding some deals. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.